Edgar Dale was an American educator who created a visual model known as the Cone of Experience. This model explains how learners acquire knowledge through various sensory experiences, starting from concrete experiences and moving towards more abstract ones. The Cone of Experience is divided into different sections, with the most concrete experiences at the bottom of the cone such as direct purposeful experiences and field trips and the most abstract experiences at the top of the cone such as listening and reading now let's see how the cone of experience relates to english language teaching in the field of language education it is important to expose learners to a variety of sensory experiences to enhance their language learning and acquisition. At the bottom of the cone, learners can engage in their experiences such as role plays, simulations, and real-life situations. These types of experiences help learners to use the language they are learning in a meaningful way, and they can practice using the language in a Moving up the cone, we have experiences such as demonstrations and visual aids. These experiences can help learners to visualize concepts and understand the meaning of new vocabulary or grammar structures. Further up the cone, we have more abstract experiences such as reading and listening. These experiences can help learners to develop their reading and listening skills as well as their ability to understand language in different contexts. Finally, at the top of the cone, we have experiences such as lectures and discussions. These experiences can help learners to develop their critical thinking and analysis skills, as well as their ability to express their own opinions in the target language. In conclusion, Edgar Dale's Code of Experience is a useful model for English language teachers to understand how learners acquire knowledge through various sensory experiences. By using a variety of experiences in our language classes, we can enhance our learners' language acquisition and create more engaging and effective lessons.